In this video, we will do an exam review of the Lambert Eaton Myasthenia Syndrome and compare it with the Myasthenia Grievous. Few important exam questions before the topic and we'll get the answers after the topic is done. The question number one is what's the pathology of LEMS? Number two, what's the difference between Myasthenia Grievous and Lambert Eaton Syndrome? Number three, which tumors are associated with myasthenia and LEMS? Number four, what's the most common site affected in LEMS? And number five, what's the difference between pyridostigmine and 3,4-diaminopyridine? Now let's discuss lambert eaton myasthenic syndrome. Like myasthenia grievous is an autoimmune disorder at the neuromuscular junction and it has asymmetric weakness of the skeletal muscles. So what's the defect in lambert eaton in myasthenic syndrome the defect is presynaptic whereas the defect in myasthenia is postsynaptic and that affects the acetylcholine receptors but in lambert eaton syndrome the autoantibodies occur against the pq gated calcium channels at the nerve terminals the antibodies interfere with the release of acetylcholine from presynaptic nerve terminals whereas in myasthenia there is destruction of the postsynaptic acetylcholine receptors radio acid detects the antibodies. Now clinical features of LEMS. Most commonly it causes weakness of the proximal muscles of the lower limb whereas in myasthenia eyelid muscles are affected early in the disease and the weakness decreases with repeated use of the muscles in LEMS whereas weakness increases with repeated use in myasthenia grievous. Ptosis is the most common feature of the myasthenia but it also occurs in LEMS due to the involvement of the eye muscle, levator palpebri superioris, and diplopia occurs in 70% of the patient. In LEMS, there are decreased or absent deep tendon reflexes, whereas in myasthenia, the deep tendon reflexes are normal. Autonomic disturbances are present in LEMS with dry mouth, xerostomia, and impotency, whereas autonomic disturbances are absent in myasthenia. Repeated nerve stimulation in LEMS causes increased muscle contraction, whereas repeated nerve stimulation in myasthenia causes decreased muscle contraction or increases the muscle weakness or muscle fatigue. Most patients with LEMS have malignancy, about 50% of patients, small cell carcinoma of the lung. The diagnosis of LEMS signals the presence of a lung tumor, permitting early diagnosis and treatment of the tumor before the appearance of signs symptoms. Now the treatment of LEMS, the treatment is almost similar to the treatment of myasthenia, the drug and immunosuppression with glucocorticoids, azathioprine and plasma pharesis and IV immunoglobulins. The drug used in LEMS are pyridostigmine which is acetylcholine esterase inhibitor and another drug used is 3,4-diaminopyridine. Pyridostigmine increases the action of acetylcholine by destroying acetylcholine esterase at the neuromuscular junction whereas 3,4-diaminopyridine blocks the potassium channel causing increased depolarization of the motor terminals thus increasing the acetylcholine release. So that's the difference between pyridostigmine and 3,4-diaminopyridine. Now answers to the questions. Question number one, what's the pathology of LEMS? We already discussed antibody against the gated calcium channels at the presynaptic terminal. They prevent the release of acetylcholine. Question number two, what's the difference between myasthenia grievous and LEMS? Number one, there is defect in the presynaptic release in F-acetylcholine in LEMS, whereas in myasthenia the defect is postsynaptic. Antibodies are against the voltage-gated calcium channels. Number three, weakness in LEMS, most commonly starting in in the lower limb whereas in myasthenia there is descending weakness starting in the eye muscles. In LEMS there are decreased or absent deep tendon reflexes whereas in myasthenia the deep tendon reflexes are normal. Repeated nerve stimulation in LEMS causes increased muscle contraction whereas repeated nerve stimulation in myasthenia causes increased muscle weakness or muscle fatigue and weakness decreases with or improves with repeated use in LEMS and as I already told weakness increases in myasthenia with repeated use. LEMS is associated with a small cell carcinoma of the lung whereas myasthenia is associated with thymoma. Tensilon test is negative in LEMS whereas it's positive in myasthenia. Treatment 
for LEMS is both with acetylcholine esterase inhibitors and aminopyridine, whereas treatment for the myasthenia is with acetylcholine esterase inhibitors. Question number three, which tumors are associated with myasthenia and LEMS? We already did it. LEMS, there is a small cell carcinoma of the lung and in myasthenia, there is thymoma. Question four, what's the most common site affected in LEMS? It's the proximal muscles of the lower limbs, whereas in myasthenia, it's the eye muscles causing descending weakness. Question 5. What's the difference between pyridostigmine and 3,4-diaminopyridine? Pyridostigmine is acetylcholine esterase inhibitor, whereas 3,4-diaminopyridine blocks the potassium channel resulting in prolonged depolarization.